In this video, I'll be turning my ugly cluttered up desktop into a clean, minimalist and cool looking desktop. So let's get started. So now here as you can see, got a lot of icons on my desktop right here, which makes my desktop look cluttered up. One thing you can do is just recreate the icon by right clicking on your desktop, hover over view and then select small icons, but still it looks pretty cluttered up. Another setting which you can do is just right click once again and hover over view. You can just check this box that says auto arrange icon so that all your icons are neatly arranged on the left side. But if you want to hide it all together, you just right click once again, hover over view and check the option that says show desktop icons and now all your icons have disappeared. But don't worry guys, your icons have not been deleted, you can just access them once again by going back to File Explorer and then opening up the Downloads folder. Now here as you can see all the icons and folders that were there on my desktop is right now showing up here on the desktop folder in File Explorer. And here as you can see my desktop looks way better than before. Now over here as you can see I got my taskbar right here which looks pretty cluttered up with all these icons. First thing you can do is just unpin all of these icons that one you don't want by just right clicking on it. And just click on unpin from taskbar to unpin the icons that you don't want on your taskbar. And then just right click on your taskbar and then just click on taskbar settings. And then once settings has opened up here as you can see we've got a lot of toggle options right here. Now over here you can just toggle the ones that you want to show on your taskbar on and toggle the one that you want to show on your taskbar on. If I just let me just toggle these two off so that it never shows on my taskbar once again. If you scroll down, you've got a lot of options right here. That is the pet to untoggle these two icons right here. I'm just going to toggle both of them off. And then over here, you can just toggle them all off so that they never appear on your taskbar. And now here, as you can see, my taskbar looks a lot cleaner. And we've got this small, neat looking icon. And if you click on that, you can see all the icons over here, which looks pretty neat and clean. And now as you can see, our taskbar looks a lot cleaner. Now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be changing our Windows 11 default cursor into a more clean and Windows 11 style looking cursor. So go ahead and click on the first link in the description that will open up this website right here that is deviantart.com slash rosie92 and make sure you have created an account and make sure you've signed in to that account. Now here as you can see we've got the Windows 11 cursor concepts version 2 by Jeppery Creation. We've got this cursor pack right here. So over here all you gotta do is click on the download button over here to download the cursor pack. And then once it's done downloading onto your computer, open up File Explorer. And then open up the Downloads folder. And over here as you can see we've got the zip file right here, just right click on it. Just click on Show More Options and then just click on Extract 2. And then open up this folder right here. And then open up the Light or the Dark Mode folder if you want the Dark Mode cursor or if you want the Light Mode cursor. I'm gonna go with the Light Mode cursor for now. Scroll down until you find this installation file right here. Install. Select it. Right click. Click on show more options and then just click on install. And then in the user account control window, just click on yes. And then once this mouse properties window is opened up, just click on the drop down menu over here and then choose the Windows 11 Cursors Lite V2 by Jeppery Creations. And just go ahead and just click on apply and just click on yes and just go ahead and click on ok. Now here as you can see we got the cool Windows 11 cursor. Now go ahead and click on the second link in the description that will open up this page right here that is github.com slash torchgm slash roundedtb and then the right side all you gotta do is click on the releases link over here and then scroll down until you find roundedtb.zip here as you can see we've got the link right here just go ahead and download it and now once it's done downloading the zip file open up file explorer open up the downloads folder and just right click on the roundedtb zip file click on show more options and then extract to then open up the rounded tb folder over here then scroll down all the way to the bottom until you find rounded tb application once you found it just open it up by double clicking on it and then just minimize all the windows on your computer and here as you can see my taskbar is now rounded into a cool neat looking dock right here if this doesn't show on your computer just go ahead and click on the arrow icon over here and just right click on the rounded tb icon and just click on show rtb then over here as you can see we've got the window right here just click on advanced and then make sure you have dynamic mode selected and then make sure you've set the margin to whatever number you want and make sure you've adjusted the corner radius as well to whatever corner effect you want and go ahead and click on apply and now here as you can see you've got this cool rounded dock effect make sure you have checked this one right here if you uncheck then if you click on apply you as you can see you've got this tray icon showing up 
right here which looks pretty weird so one thing i recommend is just checking this box and click on apply so whenever you hover your cursor over that then only it'll pop up and when you move your cursor away from the system tray icon it'll never show up on your windows 11 desktop and just close down the window and then open up the system tray once again right click on the rounded tb icon and make sure you have this checkbox where that says run at startup checked so that this application will automatically run whenever you start a windows and this rounded tb effect will automatically apply onto your taskbar now go ahead and click on the third link in the description that will open up this website right here that is ray meter okay just go ahead and just click on the download button right here to download ray meter now go ahead and open up file explorer once again then open up the downloads folder and over here as you can see we have the application right here that is rain meter 4.5.8 just select it and just double click on it to run the installer and over here just click on run and go ahead and set the language and just click on ok and then make sure you've selected standard installation and just click on yes and then just click on install and then in the user account control window just click on yes and then over here just click on finish and I want to minimize all the windows on my computer here as you can see we've got a skin right here that's a welcome to raid meter just right click on it and just click on unload skin and do the same thing with all of these skins right here just right click and just click on unload skin now go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description that will open up this page right here that is modular clocks once again in deviant art make sure you've signed into your account and over here just click on the download button over here and then once it's done downloading, open up File Explorer once again and open up the Downloads folder. Now here as you can see, we have Modular Clocks right now over here. Now make sure you don't run it because we have one more application which we'll have to install. Go back to the fifth link in the description that'll open up this page right here that is Image Magic. And then over here, just go ahead and click on this link right here that says ImageMagic.exe and just wait for it to completely download the .exe file. And then once it's done downloading the installer, go back to File Explorer and just open up the Image Magic application installer over here. And over here, just click on Run. And then in the user account control window, just click on Yes. And over here, just select I accept the agreement and just click on Next. Click on Next once again, Next once again, Next once again. And make sure you have checked all these three options. Don't check the rest. Just select the first three and just click on Next. And then just go ahead and click on Install. And over here, once again, just click on next and just go ahead and click on finish. And over here, just go ahead and just close down this window right here on your Google Chrome browser and just minimize the window. And now go back to File Explorer once again and then open up the downloads folder. And now all you gotta do is just download this rain meter skin over here the modular clocks dash underscore clock pack by Jack's Originals. Just double click on it. And over here, just make sure you've checked both of these and just click on install. And over here, just go ahead and click on Jack score to install it. And then once it's done downloading, hit Windows plus S on your keyboard. And then type in Rain Meter. And just go ahead and hit enter. And over here, just click on continue. And over here, just click on continue in Jack score this window right here. And over here, just click on this option right here that says desktop. Just click on that. And just go ahead and click on this green icon over here. And over here, just click on the arrow icon again. And here, as you can see, we've got this modular clock, this icon right here. I'll okay, go just click on OK over here. And here, as you can see, we have this Jack Score Configurator Hub over here. And just go ahead and just click on Close over here. And just go back to your Windmill System Tree icon over here. Just open up Brain Meter. And over here, just and over here, as you can see, we have this modular clocks drop down menu over here. Just click on the arrow next to it. And over here, as you can see, if you have this drop down menu next to start, just select it and then load this main.ini. Just select it and just click on load over here. And over here, just click on continue. Now here, as you can see, we're in this modular clocks window right here. Now all you gotta do is click on activate skin over here. And over here, make sure you just click on update over here and just wait for it to completely update. Once it's done with that, click on the system tray icon once again and open up Rain Meter. Then over here, as you can see, we have this modular clocks option right here. Expand it and expand the hashtag start folder right here. Select the main.ini and just click on load. And over here, just click on continue once again. Then over here, just go ahead and click on appearance. And over here, just click on got it on this um, window right here, change log. And over here, as you can see, we've got a lot of options right here. You can just set it to whatever you want, whatever style you want. 
I'm just gonna go with this one because I think it looks pretty cool. Here, as you can see, we've got a lot of smart options that is just that is to adjust the skin scaling, the alignment that is center or left, whatever you want. I'm gonna go with center. You even got the option to select the date time scaling ratio, the tint color, and to enable or disable the weather icon. You can go to render to adjust the color and the effect of the widget. Let me just go ahead and just close this. And let me just adjust it so that it's in the perfect center. And I think that looks pretty good. And now, as you can see, we are almost done with our desktop transformation. But there is still one thing that's left. That is to change the wallpaper. One website I recommend is Wallpaper Cave, where you can get all kinds of really cool wallpapers. And as you can see, I found this cool wallpaper right here. Let me just go ahead and just click on download. Go ahead and open up file explorer and then let me just open up the downloads folder here as you can see we have the png file downloaded i'm just right click on it and let me just click on set as desktop background and let me just minimize all the windows on my computer now here as you can see my desktop looks clean and minimalistic which looks pretty cool if you want to get this widget icon to the perfect center you can just right click on it click on align you can just select center and now here as you can see it's right now in the perfect center and now here as you can see we successfully transfer our computer from this to this and yeah guys that's it on this video if you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend and if you have any queries you can put them down in the comment section below and please hit the subscribe button to support me till then see you later thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace